Let's integrate a nice function, which is the function 1 plus 3x to the third power times e to the x cubed with respect to x. And the reason why it is nice is that it is actually the sum of non-elementary integrals, which are e to the x to the third power and 3x cubed times by e to the x cubed. But as you will see that this integral is actually elementary and can be expressed as a closed form. So there are actually two ways that you can look at this problem, but either way is actually implicitly the same. So the first way to evaluate this is that if you look at the second term of the integral, it looks similar to the derivative of e to the x cubed which is 3x squared times by e to the x cubed by using just the chain rule. But then we are actually missing a x term here. And then in the first term, we only have the function e to the x cubed. Well, this seems quite familiar to the form of product rule, which we have two functions, u and v, and the derivative is actually u prime v plus u v prime. The reason why this looks familiar to the product rule is that if we can actually utilize this form to rewrite our expression here, then we can see that we need e to the x to the third power to be differentiated only once, which in our case, we can let v to be equal to e to the x cubed. And then, the derivative of x is actually just 1. So you can actually just let u to be x. And we can see that the whole integrand here is essentially just the derivative of x times by e to the x cubed. Because the first term in the integrand is that you differentiated the x term, which is 1, times by e to the x cubed plus the differentiation of e to the x cubed, which is 3x squared times by e to the x cubed, and then you times by x, which you get the second term. And then to integrate this, well, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, we will just have this x times by e to the x cubed plus c. And so this is our answer. And for the second way, is to just directly use the integration by parts on the first term. Where we let u to be e to the x cubed and dv to be equals to 1. So you get that du is equal to 3x squared times by e to the x cubed times by dx and v is equal to x. And so the integration by parts formula states that the integral of u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. So throwing everything in, you will get that it is equal to u v, which is just x times by e to the x cubed, minus the integral v du, which is x times by 3x squared e to the power of x cubed, which is 3x cubed e to the x cubed dx. And this is actually just the same as the second term. So both of them just cancel off. So therefore, the whole thing is just x times by e to the x cubed plus c. So before we end this video, these two ways are actually the same because the integration by parts formula is actually derived from the product rule formula as we can actually quickly talk our way through it where if you have two continuously differentiable functions u of x and v of x the product rule states that if you differentiate u of x times by v of x is equal to v of x times by u prime x plus u of x times by v prime x. 
and then you can integrate both sides and then the left hand side is just u of x times by v of x by the fundamental theorem of calculus and then this is just the integral of u prime x times by v of x dx plus integral u of x times by v prime x dx and also here we can actually neglect writing the constant of integration and so therefore we just get that the integral of u of x times by v prime x dx is equal to u of x times by v of x minus the integral u prime x v of x times by dx and then here you can actually write it in terms of differentials where you just know that the term over here is actually just du and also the term over here is dv so the whole thing is just integral u of x dv is equal to u of x times by v of x minus the integral v of x times by du. Therefore, we are done.